Hi, I'm going to introduce you very briefly to one of the most important chemical representations within chemistry, and that's what's called SMILES, okay, the Simplified Molecular Input Line Entry System, or SMILES, okay. Um, and the idea of SMILES is to represent a molecule as a text string, okay. So consider the Consider butane, okay? What we do is this is carbon, 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 and that's our smiles representation of butane. If we want to add a methyl group onto this, however, so we go, so we have our, our butane again, and we put a methyl group on here, okay? Then we do carbon, 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 because those are those three carbons. Then we do a, a brackets, put a carbon inside that, close the brackets, and then have our last carbon, like that. Okay, so we can build up branched molecules. If, however, we are now looking at uh, this simple amine here, we've got the three carbons in a row, C, 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 and then we've got this nitrogen, and all the hydrogens are assumed. Okay, if we don't explicitly say a bond, the bond, then the hydrogen is assumed. Okay, so that would be that aiming there. Okay, right. So if I'm interested in doing a double bond or a triple bond, for instance, so here's propene, for instance. Okay, uh, then I do carbon. It's an equal symbol, carbon, carbon, like that. Okay, likewise, if we want the triple bond, then we use the hash symbol. Would give us a triple bond instead. Okay, so we can build up very complicated molecules just in a, a text fashion. Okay, one of the key points that we're going to need to consider, however is going to be stereochemistry. So if we, for instance, take a uh, this, okay, uh, what we can do is we're going to come along for our smile string, we take, say, carbon, for that carbon there, then a slash like that, then we do carbon, that's our double bond, and a slash is going upwards, our bond, so that's where our slash goes, and we have that. If, however, we had this, on the other hand, then we can have carbon, we're down on that side, so it's slash, here's a double bond, here's that second carbon, and this time we're going down like that. Okay, so we can have our, our text form like that. So that's our alkene geometry. Okay, if we now look at um, chirality, very briefly, so consider this here. Methyl group. Consider this here. Then, if we were starting to write our, write our smile string, then we would go N for this nitrogen here. Then we'd have C. And then we'd consider one of the other groups that's attached. So, I'm just going to take the hydrogen now and I'm going to deliberately leave a space. Okay, we'll see why in a second. And then we consider the other groups that are attached. So I've got a, uh, a iodine attached to that carbon and I've got that methyl group, so that's a C. Okay. Now if we're considering chirality in a smile string, then what we do is we take the chiral centre, we put it into square brackets like this, okay, and what we're effectively going to do 
is we are going to look down this nitrogen to carbon bond. Okay, that's that's our perspective here, and we're going to say whether uh, whether it is uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise. So we can either uh, and to denote whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise down that bond, we're going to either you have a at symbol or two at symbols. Okay, now you're going to encounter this in more complicated molecules. Uh, you'll see these at symbols and what they are doing is is defining that stereochemistry around those positions. Obviously as the molecules get bigger this is going to get much more complicated but in principle it's still human readable. Okay, So come back. So we've looked at uh, stereochemistry and alkene geometry. The last tool in our toolbox that I'm going to introduce you to is cyclization. So uh, consider, uh, let's just do, consider cyclobutane for instance, then what we do is we define atoms as connected to one another by numbering them. So I'm going to do carbon and I'm going to call this carbon 1. And then I'm going to do carbon, carbon, carbon. So I've got four carbons in my ring. And this carbon here, I'm going to say that's carbon one as well. Okay, and I'm going to go with a more European one so that everybody knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so that would be the smile string for a cyclic system. Okay, we could build on that with aromatic systems. Okay, so if we have benzene, for instance, then we've got six carbons in a row and carbon one and carbon two are associated with another one another but so that we can define them as aromatic then instead of capital C what we do is we have a lowercase c now I'm going to demonstrate this deliberately oops, with toluene Give me. Um, so I'm going to have C1, C, 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 and it doesn't really matter because it's toluene on which ones our, our numbering is, but so I'm just going to put it here. So brackets, because we've got branching capital C, then we're coming back to our aromatic. So one, two, three, four, five, our sixth aromatic one, and we put that to number one. So I have six lowercase c's for carbon in our benzene ring and this bra uh, methyl branch for toluene is shown in brackets as we've done before. Okay, So those are the basic fundamental parts of, of, of a smile string for you. Okay, It's an incredibly powerful technique. There is however, there are a couple of problems with it. Okay, um, and these one of these is particularly of note. So, uh, for us just now. So consider we saw, we saw our, this molecule earlier on. Okay, and we wrote this as C C C bracket C C. So we did that. Okay. To smiles, however. This molecule here would be written C, 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 C. Okay? Now, obviously, this is exactly the same molecule. So, the same molecule can be represented by different smile strings. Okay? And this can catch out a lot of uh, chemical informatics applications and, and people if you're if you're coming to this plane okay there are uh, other text-based chemical um, representation formats particularly inky which get around this problem okay but with smiles this is a big issue smiles is incredibly powerful and you will encounter it lots